All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Infected. My name is Blondon, and thank you guys so much for being here today. Today we've got a special one. It's one that's been kind of a long time coming, and I'm really excited to do it, but also dreading it at the same time, because I know it's going to take a while. On the plus side, it's not gonna take that long for you guys, because I'm gonna cut it up, so it's not so bad, but I, I can never get through an intro with these guys. Um, yeah, as I was saying, oh, aluminum. As I was saying, it's gonna take a little while. It's gonna take some work. So what I did is I did a little bit of planning, a little bit of brainstorming, and kind of preparing for what I would need to do, and kind of what I wanted as far as like a vision for this whole kind of upgrade. Now, while I do have a lot of it kind of vaguely planned, the vast majority of it is going to be me kind of winging it, uh, to, to be completely honest. Uh, and then I think, because I think that leaves a lot more room for creativity. Um, and if, you know, we make a mistake, maybe we can just go with the flow and change it up, uh, you know, when we make it instead of panicking and not having it exactly how we wanted. But anyway, actually, before I start this whole process, I should say kind of the vague idea that I have in my mind. Um, so what I want to do is I want to expand. I want to break away these walls and expand it out to the right. And same with this, I'm going to probably break down these walls and expand it out probably at least one block this way, like towards the, the front of the gate. Um, that way we can kind of make a singular entrance. I want to have kind of an entryway type setup. I'm still going to have this, uh, this front balcony type thing. Um, and same with these plants. I'm gonna have these out here. I'm probably, speaking of plants, probably gonna be making use of plants throughout the uh, whole base as kind of decoration to kind of fill in some gaps along the way as well as just trying to make things look a little bit better. Um, I think it would be so cool for this exact reason to have plants that are just for looks, like flowers or things like that. Or maybe things that we can tell Mike not to mess with. But the, I guess the downside of having them, well, no, actually, I was going to say the downside of having them inside is that they might die uh, for, because I'm not going to be watering them. Um, but then I remembered that Mike's going to be watering them. So, hey, Mike, you got it, right? Well, he's not ignoring, or he's not, um, he's not listening to me. But um, yeah, it's not going to be my problem. It's going to be all Mike's. So I'm going to expand out to the right, expand out to the front. And then also what I'm going to do on this right side is I was thinking of some kind of like watchtower that goes along the side. I can't have it be super high uh, unless I wanted just like these absurd sets of stairs, uh, which I do not like the thought of because we don't have a lot of options when it comes to stairs. We only have these four, which it's technically three because these two are the same, just flipped. Um, so we're kind of limited on what we can do there, but I've got a pretty decent idea on what I want to do to make it look kind of cool. Um, and on top of that, I'm going to have the upstairs kind of railed off and have that kind of be our whole power bank or our power generator. Um, we'll have our wind turbines up there. We'll have our solar panels. And then at the same time, with all of that being built, I think what I'm gonna do is just to kind of pay homage to our original little two by two, I think is, what, no, it started out as a, I think a one by two. But either way, what we ended up doing is breaking out, there used to be a wall here, we broke that out and built on this, this entire expansion. So I think to kind of pay homage to the our, our humble beginnings, we're going to leave this as our bedroom. I'm going to end up moving a lot of this stuff out and I'm going to make it just solely our bedroom, just for sleeping at night and maybe have like a, a box for general storage. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of all these the electrical stuff and it's going to be like a whole new place. I'm going to keep kind of the core of it. Like this area is going to be pretty much the same. We'll probably end up moving a lot of things around. Um, but other than that, it's going to stay pretty similar. Uh, and then what else? So these buildings over here, Mike's place and the town hall, as well as the greenhouse. I'm thinking about leaving these where they're at. I'm not not 100% certain. I know we can move this greenhouse to put it pretty much wherever. It doesn't need foundations like these two buildings do, but I'm not, I guess I'm not entirely convinced on where I want to put it just yet. And it turns out with this water house, one of you guys said that there is a pretty big radius that you can put it um, so that it'll still water the plants properly. So that's really good to know. So we got some leeway on what we want to do with that. And so I 
think that's kind of the gist of it. Let me think here. Now, I did mention this in one of the earlier episodes. This is going to change. That scared me. This is going to change. I'm going to remove these and, and figure something else out with that. And then I'm going to put roofs all the way across on this bridge. And then at some point, add lighting. The thing with the lighting, though, it's very expensive. It's going to cost a lot of electrical parts. And this is how many electrical parts we have. <laughs> we have one. We have one part. So that means we are going to need a lot. So that brings me kind of to the second part of this whole process. Well, technically it's the first step and that's gathering all of the materials. And all the different types of materials we're gonna need, we need a whole variety because I've got a lot of big plans and I don't know how long this is gonna take but <laughs> I'm gonna be at this for a while. So we're gonna do things like furniture, which is gonna require some animal skin, as well as, uh, like I said, the lights, that's gonna take electrical components. So we're gonna need th things for the carpet as well, which uh, the rugs, which is gonna take uh, sheep wool. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's gonna take wool. Um, we're gonna need a ton of clay and bricks uh, for cement. What I'm thinking about doing as well is upgrading all of the foundations to cement or concrete, whatever it is. And that's gonna take quite a bit. We don't have a ton right now. We have 10 there as well as three more, that's 30. And it takes 15 cement per foundation, uh, which I did really quick on the calculator. That's 240 just for the foundation alone. And we currently have 40. So we need 200 more cement. Yeah, we got a lot of work ahead of us. And I know I didn't even cover everything that we're going to do. Um, I, we're going to need more aluminum as well, likely for some upgrades such as this battery, as well as um, some more solar panels. I don't know how much of the power that we'll even do this episode. Um, and not all the lighting is going to be electric. Some of it's going to be these uh, little fire pots um, and some other things. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Um, we're pretty bare on our metals. <laughs> but... Um, I don't know. I'm excited to start this. So I think that kind of covers everything. I know actually I did uh, uh, forget a couple things. So I'm just going to let that be a surprise instead. Um, so with that, let me start getting uh, ready here. Hopefully Mike's going to be a little bit of help with this. He'll, he'll get some wood collected for us. Um, but yeah, talk to you guys soon. Okay guys, so really quick update. I've had to change a few things. One, I had to change, I, I can't build what I wanted to here. I was gonna build a little living room area right here, but I can't because of this rock. It won't let me place foundations. And so what I decided to do was just build the kitchen over here in this corner, but it won't allow me to place any kind of wall down. I can put one here but it won't let me put one here, which is worrisome, especially considering now it doesn't look like I can, doesn't even look like I can put a wall down here. Um, oh, we found just a sliver that we could place that down in. Okay, so we can still put a wall down. So that's good at least. So we can have a little kitchen corner right in here. Um, and I put three windows here, so it'll have some decent lighting. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna probably have to wall this off again because I can't, like I said, I can't put any foundations here. So what I decided to do, uh, please don't, don't say anything about this. What I decided to do was I was gonna take away this, this um, entrance over here and instead build a living area in this corner. Um, and these floating boxes are here because I accidentally deleted the um, the brick forge that it was that they're sitting on <laughs> So I have to remake that but 
Yeah, I was gonna make the the living area over here instead, but if I can kind of if I can kind of force it over here, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try and kind of force it over here, and we'll see how it turns out. It's gonna create a lot of extra work, but I I'm just too curious. I, I really I had this plan over here, and I want to see what we can do to make that happen. So I'm gonna try and make it happen, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright, so really quick update on what's going on. I decided to take a, a quick second here uh, because we got a snowstorm rolling through and I had to light up every single piece of fire in our base. Um, so I figured I'd take this time to kind of give a quick update on the progress that we've made so far. And I know it's still a complete disaster, but we do kind of have the kitchen layout kitchen slash eating area so we got the garbage and the food prep table and everything in here then we got kind of the blueprints for everything else this is kind of a basic layout of what we're gonna have uh, now i do have the sink which is gonna take a bunch of aluminum and the rest of this stuff is actually pretty easy to make with some iron i think is the biggest parts this is gonna take 10 electrical parts um so that's gonna be a little bit more difficult um, but we, I think we'll be able to finish all that this episode. And then we did, so it was unfortunate. I was not able to kind of get this to work over here for the living room. So, come on, man. Oh, yeah, he's going to be in here. One second. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, I'm freezing out here. Okay, um... So as I was saying, um, yeah, I wasn't able to get it to work, but we do have, we were able to put it kind of on this side. It's still unfinished, obviously. I've got a lot of work to do. I decided to go two uh, levels high here to give it a much more open feeling when we're in there. Um, the unfortunate thing is I, I just wanted to do a half wall, so it wasn't like so much space. Unfortunately, these corner pieces only come in full size, so we're not able to do the half wall, so we just went full. And then I'll eventually um, put a ceiling up and everything and fill out these windows and we'll get some furniture and stuff in here. And then a really quick update on the greenhouse. Oh yeah, I've been putting these glass doors in, which are awesome. I think they look really good, but they sound so heavy. Listen to this thing close. <laughs> Sounds like a prison cell closing. Uh, anyway, let's head to the greenhouse quick. Okay, I did add a few more plant beds in here. And the reason for that is I just want to make sure that uh, Mike is able to stock up on all the food and everything. Um, but yeah, this is what we got going on here. I got, it's kind of a 
a little bit of a funky layout, and the reason for that is, like, I guess just for a little bit of realism. I know I've got these things underneath tables. That's not realistic at all. Uh, at all. But, um, just for some little... Okay, I was going to say walking space, but I, I end up walking on top of them. Let's just pretend. <laughs> Let's just pretend it's a little bit realistic. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of the layout that we've got going on here. Mike's been doing a decent job at keeping it up. I've actually been struggling. Uh, I keep forgetting to keep Mike fed. So he eventually just stops working. Yeah, he... He's at zero right now. Do we have any food on us? No, we've got mushrooms, but um, I'm gonna get him fed here, but that's kind of a, a quick update. I guess I can show you really quick what it looks like from the outside. So this corner part, I think is gonna start to come come together a little bit. Um, and then, like I said, we're planning on a tower of some type over on that side, and I'm not even close to being finished here. So I'm gonna keep working and I'll talk to you guys soon. So I have been working so much on revamping this entire compound. And here's the thing. I've spent hours and hours doing this. And you may not even... You may look at it and think there's no way he spent more than five minutes on it. But um, here's the thing. It was taking me so long. And I, I had a million ideas along the way. And I start changing all these little things and and... It just went completely off the rails. I have no clue how good or bad uh, this edit is going to be, kind of showing the progress all the way through. Um, but essentially, I'm still not finished after all this time, and I have to force myself 
to stop at this point <laughs> because if I didn't stop now, it would never get finished. You can actually see the railings out there. Um, if you look a little bit closely that are not even finished yet. Um, and I will say, well, I'll get to this here. So I ended up not moving the greenhouse or the town hall or uh, Mike's house or anything um, just because it was going to add probably several hours of extra work. So just to start here, Mike's been doing a pretty dang good job in here. Um, I can't remember how far. I think I probably showed you guys all this. I, I added a couple of these torches in here, um, which at night, honestly, this thing looks so cool. I really wanted to hook up some electric lights in there, um, like the ceiling lights, but I couldn't really figure out a way to do that properly. Um, so we just haven't. And I don't know if he's even harvesting any of these anymore because he's filled up all the watermelons and all the pumpkin uh, baskets. So I'll probably have to make a few more of those. So yeah, this is the greenhouse. Um, eventually, as you can obviously see, I'll, I'll get some railings up here. Um, I really didn't do much in here. Uh, really nothing at all. I just moved the boxes around. Um, it looks like he is doing an amazing job at keeping all of this full. And I, I have to clear out some of the uh, spoiled food here, obviously. But yeah, he's doing really great there. So... Did I actually even fill this? No, this is not actually spoiled food. I've still got plans for this box. But, um, so we'll get to this. So I ended up getting a light here. I still have to obviously make it and connect it up. Um, I'll, I'll get to the electric part here in a second. And I didn't do anything in here. I wanted to throw another light in here. Maybe I'll throw like the, the lanterns or something in here just for some extra lighting. But I couldn't get a proper way to get one of these lights in here without making it look horrible. I had to do a little trickery just to get this to work. Now... Uh, I added a little storage building here, um, which obviously I need to add stairs and whatnot here. Um, really haven't filled this out yet. Like I said, you probably wouldn't think that I've spent more than five minutes on this, but I promise I have. Uh, these are still, I gotta categorize everything, um, but I'll get to that. And then I actually ended up moving the, uh, the walls in closer so that it can basically connects right here. Um, I thought about putting one of the like the walls up or the doors up like on the end there but I don't know I think I like just the railing here um, so let's move on to this here really not much has changed <laughs> I added the the rounded corners on this and eventually I'm gonna move this stuff um, I don't know where just yet maybe just right in here into this little workshop uh, maybe I'll make an extra building outside kind of out in the trees or something for all of the wood logs um, but for now, this isn't a bad spot. It, it was really convenient just to have everything here while I built and and, and used all the, the planks and everything. Um, but yeah, I was able to get most of the bridge done here, which I think looks pretty dang good for the most part. Um, you might notice that each of the roofs don't, like, they don't line up flush, but it's not a big deal. If you just kind of look at it, you can't really tell. That's not perfect either, but <laughs> that's fine. And now I did have plans on running lights all the way along here. Um, that's going to have to be a later project. And like I said, I'll get to the electricity part here. Um, but here, let's look at the outside of our base. So I expanded a lot on the base here. Uh, the back was kind of a last second decision because I wanted to put a door here and I put some glass doors. And in order to get to the door, I obviously needed some stairs. Um, but before, I just had railings going along here, and having the stairs here, it, it made no sense. So I ended up having to expand it out this way. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. Like I said, I really wish they had the corner pieces, you know, facing the proper way. But it is what it is. We'll take it for now. Um, and now, let's see, I guess... Well, let's, let's go to the front so we can get kind of a grand view of the entire building here. Yeah, I still got kind of a mess out here. I know, I know. And this, like I said, it looks actually really cool at night with the lighting. But all right, here it is. Here's the the overview of the the new base, the new kind of mansion type building. I don't know what you'd call it, but I wouldn't call it just a house anymore. <laughs> um, let's open this up here. Yeah, let's use these. Yeah, I, I still got a lot of work to do out in the yard. <laughs> There's so much things I need to get done. I just figured, like I said, I had to force myself to stop. Otherwise, you this you would not be seeing this episode right now. It's taken me so long to get here. Um, 
but that just leaves a lot of room for for a lot of uh, future uh, renovation and upgrades that I can show you guys along the way that's not so compact into a little montage like I did here um, but yeah so we've got the main entrance I brought the the deck out a little bit more and, and have that kind of u-shape all around the main entrance and I decided to use the indoor uh, walls and door frame here because I just thought it looked a little better a little bit better It adds a little bit of an accent to the overall building So it's not all just the exact same wooden walls and up here. That's that's all for aesthetics um, I, I did have the indoor wall so that type of wall also right here And it just ended up looking kind of goofy kind of goofier than it does right now But I, I just I didn't want it all to look the exact same with with all the uh, the same log type wall structures um, and I, this is still pretty empty out here. Um, I will probably add, I don't know, I've got a little bench over here. And then maybe some, like, uh, plant beds and stuff I'll throw down. Make it, uh, kind of bring some greenery over here. But let's open it up. So you got our little main entrance. Which, again, some more lighting. I'll get to that. And it's, I don't know, kind of typical. You got your little welcome box. And I will have a rug here. I think I need like four more uh, sheep wool to finish this one. Um, I went searching for them. I couldn't find any where I killed them last. So I just said screw it for now. And we got a nice little clothes rack here. You know, for everyone to keep, uh, hang up their shirt and their jacket and everything. But now you'll notice, so this is actually kind of empty <laughs> out here. And again, still a massive work in progress. But... Oh, and I just need one more uh, animal skin for that couch there, too. But I put some cement down, and I'm not sure if I love it, but I'm not sure if I hate it. <laughs> it kind of brings a, a little bit colder of a feel uh, to the overall space. So I, I, I'm still not convinced that I love it. Um, but we'll leave it for now. Um, so if you look to our left, we've got the little living room. Um, again, this all looks so much better at night because it's got the, the nice warm lighting in here. It looks like I did not ever put this out. We'll leave that. That's fine. Um, but yeah, just a nice place to, to relax. We've got the actual rug finished in here. Nice chair in the corner. A little space heater slash uh, kind of end table. Um, yeah, just a nice little spot. And I wanted to have this space just wide open. Just so it doesn't feel so claustrophobic. But yeah, I mean, not a whole lot to see in here. Just a nice little space to chill out. Um, now if we keep moving, uh, we'll head over to the kitchen. I got uh, some, uh, meat drying on here. I did do some fishing. And, yeah, not a whole lot going on in the kitchen, but we've got the sink right here. A uh, refrigerator, stove, the garbage, and then, of course, live, laugh, survive. Um, uh, you, you gotta have that home aesthetic. The, the nice sayings that, that we would normally put up on the wall. You know, there is a sign that we could put down. We could put more of these uh, cheesy quotes up um, around, <laughs> around the home. And I do have a light switch here because eventually it's gonna be hooked up to this light. But we'll close this. Now we'll go into here. This is what I kind of turned into the little workshop area. Um, a little bit closed in, but I actually had this right here until I decided to put this door here. Um, might end up moving this over a little bit so it doesn't feel so crowded as soon as you walk into the door um, again it's all a work in progress but that leads out to the nice little deck out here we can come out here and have our coffee in the morning maybe I'll put some chairs down or something but let's go back inside and we'll head upstairs so upstairs you'll see I did add some more storage for the ingots and we literally have zero iron <laughs> right now. <laughs> Completely drained. Uh, we do have a little bit of aluminum here. These are both aluminum shelves, so we're sitting pretty good there. Um, what do we have out here? Oh, yeah. So this is kind of the tower. So there's there's really nothing here. Um, this is just kind of a doorway to go out to the, the deck out here, the second level. Um, again, this does need some kind of filler pieces. Maybe I'll add some furniture, some plant beds. Not sure. But... Um, yeah, not a whole lot going on out here. We'll get to the top here in a second. But yeah, this is kind of the the second level. Now, if we go out here, so this does kind of expand and wrap around. So it's nice and open up here. I don't know. I just kind of like it up here. Uh, I might put a glass door here, I guess, just so it fits with uh, the rest of these doors. But let's go upstairs. 
Yeah, I put some of the doors in backwards. The unfortunate thing is I don't think we can remove them and re-add them without just re like rebuilding them. But all right, now we got the top floor, which is kind of where all the power is made. I was able to add two beautiful solar panels, which are really cool. So they were basically half the cost of the wind turbines, but of course they only work during the daytime. And I don't even know if they work during the, the thunderstorms. I guess we can check that here. Um, but yeah, again, this looks way cooler at night. We've got the uh, the lighting down at the bottom of the stairs, and then we've got a nice little watchtower. I think one of you guys mentioned way back in like the first or second episode, I think we're, what, what episode is this, like 17 now? Um, one of you suggested a watchtower, and I, I thought about it for half a second, and then I completely forgot about it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's, honestly, 99% of these renovations were aesthetics. Like, it was literally just for looks. The practicality of it is, is essentially zero for pretty much everything. Um, I don't know, but I'm really happy with, with how everything has turned out. So that's kind of the whole tour. We've got this, I, I really like how this actually branches off. I decided to make this entire storage building out of the indoor walls, just so it matches aesthetically with those. The unfortunate thing is, is I had to snap them to the foundation, so I couldn't really line them up with these buildings. Um, but it is what it is, that's fine. Uh, there's a light up here, we're gonna add uh, more lighting eventually. Um, and we're gonna fill out this space, we're gonna get rid of probably like these logs and, and these uh, clay brick dryers. Oh, and then I guess I do still, so I've got my bedroom, but don't expect anything cool in here. It's essentially the same, I moved out some of the boxes into storage, we've got the cobwebs of wires in here. Um, I, <laughs> I, I fell, I fell through on like all of my promises to, to fix this. But again, the reason for that is because I wouldn't, I wouldn't be showing you this right now, uh, if I had continued to work on all this. So the deal with the electricity is I know that's going to take a lot of work and that was going to delay this video even, even more than it already has. Normally I probably would have come out with like two episodes of the infected at this point. Um, but I haven't came out with any. I've been I've been still coming out with daily uploads uh, with other survival games, uh, which has been a lot of fun. But yeah, this one's it's just taken way too long. Um, but I think it'd be fun to eventually in one of the next episodes uh, dedicate an entire kind of section to setting up the electricity. Um, one thing I did end up doing is exploring. I don't know, like let's see. I think I explored this town. This town, this town, so those three, and then this one, so number four. And I think that was it, so all four of those towns, um, which is like half or more of the towns, uh, to get as much uh, electrical parts as possible. And I did end up getting a bunch, um, and that's why you do see that there is more lights in here. I do obviously <laughs> have more to finish, but yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. So I've got a bunch of plant beds down here because these were the ones that were up on my porch. Uh, before I started the renovation. I just ended up moving them down here for the time being. Um, we've got all these running. These are all looking really good. Oh, that's another thing. I've been able to use a... a ton of... the oil cans as well as biofuel. Mostly the biofuel because of Mike helping us out. I got them set up with the plant beds and everything in the storage. And then also I've been turning on the generator to get these done. Looks like we've got one extra here actually. Um, yeah, this has been kicking out oil cans left and right while I've been working. And then let's see here. I guess we can check the storage in the living room. This is full of a ton of aluminum and a ton of iron frags. Yeah, it's been awesome as far as those production, uh, like that production's gone. Um, I've been working, 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 and then I would eventually jump over to the aluminum cave, and then I'd look for sheep or, or lamb or whatever they are uh, along the way to try and kill those. And yeah, picking up the aluminum uh, for my trip back. And so it's just been really productive that way, as long as I can remember to do that, because it, I get so lost in, in renovating and, and building and doing everything here, trying to come up with different ideas and testing different things. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's the gist of it. Um, I kind of want to keep working here. I don't know how long this episode is going to be. I hope it's not too long. I hope it's not unbearable. Um, we still got to hook up this water house, but again, that's got to come with the electricity part. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys, I hope you guys like it. 
Ultimately, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I know um, one part of my original plan was to have that living room that's now on the left side over on the right side, basically share a wall with the kitchen. And that ended up not working out. And I think, honestly, it's better that way because how bad am I hurting here for the sun? Oh, no, I was just out of energy. Um, Anyway, I think it worked out better, I guess, for aesthetics because it kind of... I don't know, it, it kind of creates just a, an asymmetrical look that I ended up really enjoying. I do like all the, the patio space that we have. And if anything, if we need more space in this whole building, we can absolutely do that. We can take full advantage of all this patio space and all this, um, all the, 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 like the deck or porch, whatever you want to call these. We've got a ton of space out here to work with. So if we want to expand this an entire wall this way, we could, or even over here. Or even out here. Actually, I really like this out here, so I don't really want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm loving it. Um, as far as like that electricity building goes, I'm thinking either adding on out here, kind of making like an L-shaped building. I don't know. Or just making a whole separate building. I'm not sure. Let me, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, let me know what you guys think of this whole base. I don't know. I really like it. I really like how it turned out. And I still have a ton of work to do. And I, I'm going to see if I can eventually get a light up here. Oh, okay. That'll be really easy. Let me just, uh, I guess, put this down for the time being. Um, yeah, and that'll provide some nice, uh, nice lighting over here. Maybe we'll have that. I don't know, actually. Because I like the like the fire type lighting um, that provides that warmer light, but I kind of want to let let it get to nighttime so I can kind of show you guys what it looks like um, during the night because I really, I really do. Oh, I, it's probably my, the, the greenhouse is probably my favorite um, when it comes to like aesthetically how it looks, it, which is especially funny because I really didn't do a whole lot with it. I just put these light, uh, I just put these lights down, um, put a little bench out here with a little lantern on it and that's pretty much it. While I wait for it to be nighttime, it's already a quarter to six. 20 to 6. I'm going to finish these railings and then probably end up sleeping through the night and just so I can show you guys really quick what it looks like. And um, yeah, I'll just see you then. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now nighttime. What time is it? 10 p.m. And here is the greenhouse. I probably hyped it up way more than I should, but I don't know. I just really like it. It just feels really cozy with the, like I said, the warm lighting. And oh, I just think it looks so cool. Especially with that lantern out front there. <laughs> I love it. All right. So here's the front. Uh, oh, I'm freezing already? Okay, well, I'll deal with that in a second. Yeah, here's the main entrance. I got the two little uh, lanterns here in the front. Or I guess fire pots. And then, uh, why do these look yellow? Oh, is it because I'm so It's probably because I'm so cold. Uh, <laughs> let me get inside. Got the two fire pots on front here. Okay, here we go. Now, like, uh, now that I'm warmer, <laughs> they're actually the, the original orangish color. But anyway, let's go inside here. It kind of clear this out, organize it a little bit. Definitely needs um, definitely needs some filler things in here. But uh, yeah, let's go upstairs. Added a couple fire pots up here. And let's go up here quick. <laughs> so many doors. Yeah, that's how it looks, I guess, uh, at nighttime. It's nothing crazy. I just like that it's got the subtle lighting everywhere. Um, and something that I thought was really cool is, I mean, you probably can't see it now, um, but earlier from down here, you could actually, here, let me drop down. Yeah, you can't really see it now because it's so dark, but when it was just light enough and also still kind of dark, you could see the smoke of all the fire pots up in the air and I just thought it looked really cool. Um, 
yeah. That's, um, that's it. I mean, that's, that's the, the gist of it. Like I said, I still have, as always, a million other things to do. We have, we have a ton of work to do, so there's no shortage of work around the compound right now. But I am so happy to at least finish this, partially finish this chapter of our story, I guess. Um, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how this is all going to come together. I don't know how my edit's going to look with this. I don't know if the, it's going to be absolutely chaotic or what it's going to be like. Oh yeah, here's the light, by the way. Um, hopefully it's not completely unbearable. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? You can see everything that we're doing in here. Um, but anyway, here, let me, <laughs> sorry, I'm running around everywhere. But um, yeah, I'm going to call it there. You made it this far. Number one, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate you being here. Number two, if you have made it this far and, and you're not subscribed, uh, consider doing so. I, I'm so grateful for every single one of you that do. I put a lot of work into these videos and it takes me a lot of time and I would just love for this channel to grow and for you guys to, to join me as I grow. So. Yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Throw a like on the video if you did like it. Let me know down in the comments. You got any suggestions, something I can change, something I could add to the aesthetics? Let me know. I am all ears. But I'm going to stop rambling, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.